This video has been created primarily to help the person designated to supervise the visits between the non-custodial parent and the child. It's also to help you parents understand everyone's responsibilities. The main goals to keep in mind are the safety and well-being of the children involved. As a supervisor, you'll become one of the most important people in that child's life. You've read the court order and may have signed a statement of responsibility with the judge. Your obligation under the court order is to supervise the visit and to take an active role in making sure the child feels safe and happy and is not subjected to conflict. The child may be fearful, he or she is the cause of all the fighting, or totally withdraw. Your positive influence and support during the visits are important for everyone. It can help the child cope with an unhappy situation that he or she didn't create. This video will give you some strategies that can help you handle the potentially difficult situations. To illustrate important points, we've asked people to do some role playing of common situations you may encounter. The beginning of the visit can be stressful for everyone. Parents often feel angry and upset with the situation. That's the case in the first scene. The mother is dropping off the baby for her visit with her father at his mother's house. Her mother, grandma, is the supervisor. This is absolutely ridiculous. Look, no offense, Mom, but I, I can take care of my own kid. I don't really need you here. I don't understand this ruling. I don't understand what she's doing. She's, she's really different. And she's and late. she's really out of order. Late as usual. Well, maybe she'll get here in a few minutes. Yeah. I hope so. It takes two hours in the morning to get ready all the time anyway. It's no surprise. <sighs> she's not like she used to be, that's for sure. I can't believe that we're having to sit here. There she is. Hi, Haley. How are you? Hi, Haley. What? Yeah. Haven't it's, I asked you not to smoke in front of the baby? This is ridiculous. Like, you never do it. Please. No, I don't. Oh, give me a break. Oh, come on. Yeah, just take off. I hope that, I hope that you can get here a little bit earlier next time. In this scene, the supervisor does not welcome the child and does not create a warm, positive environment. She adds to the hostile situation by her attitude towards the mother. Let's take a second look and see a more positive way to start off this visit. Supervised visitation, really? Oh, come on, ridiculous. Tyler. You know what? No smoking. The court order says no smoking, and I say <sighs> this house is not going to have smoking while that baby's here. Fine. Okay. At least you can do those beyond Thank time. Thank you. You know what? It's all about Haley and us having a great visit. I don't get to see her often anymore. Yeah. I really miss her, and I guess you do too. There she is. It's about time. Hi. How's hey, Haley. Was the traffic really bad? Yeah. Okay. Listen, uh, I need that diaper bag. Hey, I'm one late question. For my manicure. Did, she, did she get anything to eat? Did she get anything to eat? Do you, do you believe her? <laughs> Do you believe? But here is our beautiful girl. <laughs> Although mom and dad are still bitter, the supervisor clearly exercised her responsibilities better. Most court orders, along with common sense, tell us we should not smoke cigarettes or drink alcohol around a young child. She enforced the no smoking rule. She was glad to see the baby, and she took steps to make it a positive experience. Often the court order will require the supervisor to be with the parent and child at all times to carefully monitor what's being said and done. As a supervisor, you might be tempted to just simply be around. This can be awkward because as a good friend or relative, you don't want to be too close all the time, but as a supervisor, you're obligated to keep the child safe and to make the visit a good experience. In this scene, the mother has come for her weekly visit with her daughter. Mom's older sister is the designated supervisor. Hey, sis. Oh, there she is. Look at my beautiful girl. <laughs> How you doing? It's been too long. Oh, yeah, yes. How was your trip? Oh, it was great. I took so many pictures. Did you? Oh, I want to see them. Do you have them? Yeah, but my camera's upstairs. Well, let's go look. Come on. Okay. Hey, so tell me, I hear your dad's seeing a new woman. Oh, yeah, he has a new girlfriend. Oh, yeah? What's she like? Skinny and blonde? <laughs> um, yeah, just a little bit. Yes. Yeah, she also an accountant like he is? I'm not quite sure what her job is. A 
Again, the supervisor did not take an active role to monitor the visit. She was not engaged in a conversation with the child and her mom, and she didn't follow them into another room. Also, she didn't end the trash talking or the questions mom asked about the other parent's private life. Finally, she didn't rush to the scene of the crash. Something bad could have happened, but we don't know because she didn't act. Here's a better way to handle the situation. Okay, now, honey, do you understand what they're asking? When is the test? Mm -hmm. uh, the test is on Friday. It's on Friday, and what's mm -hmm. it going to cover? Um, the vocabulary words, uh, the spelling, and then I have to know hey, the sis. definition. There she is! Hello. My beautiful girl! How are you doing? I'm doing well. I've missed you. How was your trip? Oh, it was great. Disney World was so much fun. Oh, I'm so glad. Did you take a lot of pictures? Yeah, like over 100. <laughs> oh, that's great. I'd love to see them. Uh, my camera's in my room. Oh, well, let's go look at them. I okay. would love to see them. Oh, come on, sis. It's okay. We're going to go look. I would really love to see them. But, honey, I haven't seen them either. Can I? Yeah. yeah. Can we do it together? Mm -hmm. All right. See how the supervisor interacts with the child from the beginning? It's clear she has the child's best interest in mind. She's also able to firmly, but gently, carry out the requirements to be present with the two of them at all times. Sometimes the split between the parents can be so ugly that the anger never goes away. The temptation to badmouth the other parent and go against a court order is just too hard to resist and can spill over into the visit. When that happens, the supervisor can and must end the visit. That's the situation in this scenario. Mom is dropping off their son to visit his dad, whose best friend is the supervisor. How you been, buddy? I've been doing all right. Tell you, I'm glad I got here before the old lady did. Yeah, so am I. I'm yeah. not looking forward to seeing her, but I'm looking forward to seeing my son. Yeah, those weeks go by awfully slow, don't they? They do. Yeah. And I don't hear from him throughout the week. I don't see him throughout the week, so I'm very excited to see him today. Cool. Yeah, cool. matter of fact, they're pulling up now. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Here look at him. Look at her. She got new clothes on. She has her hair yeah. done. Yeah, yeah. Well, probably got new shoes on, too. Looking pretty good. <laughs> yeah, I paid for it all. <laughs> me, too. Hey. There he is. Hey. Good to see you, guys. How you doing, oh, man? Hey, Dad. Good to see you. How's everything? Good. School's good? Yeah. How are your grades? Yeah. Good. Good. He's some young man, isn't he? Yeah, yeah. Takes after his father. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Dad, I made the soccer team. You what? Oh, that's so right. Good. That's for me right there. Right. So when do you start practice? I don't know, but I need the money for the gear. You what? You need the money for the gear. Do you hear this? Your mom's Dad. not gonna buy the gear. Every time I turn around, it's something new with that woman. She can go out, she can buy new clothes, she can buy new shoes, she can get her hair done, so she can party on Fridays and Saturdays, but yet she can't buy my son what he needs for soccer. You just wonder, don't you? The woman is crazy, and I'm glad this marriage is over. Mm. I can't believe this. I hate that woman. Here the supervisor is clearly not fulfilling his role. He allowed trash talking about the other parent and the drinking and smoking. He set a bad example by drinking beer himself, had no regard or understanding about how their behavior was affecting the child. As a result, the child became withdrawn and sad hearing the negative talk about his mom. The supervisor also didn't stop the dad's bad behavior or end the visit. Let's see how it might have played out if the supervisor had been more responsible and involved. So how you doing, man? I'm doing all right. How about you? I'm hanging in there. Bet you're looking forward to this, aren't oh, I'm you? I'm excited to see my son. Yeah, It's I been bet. about seven days since the last time I heard or saw him. Yeah. Yeah. Well, she's good. pulling up now. Oh, yeah. Look at a crazy woman. Hey, Brand you. new car. Yeah. Right. New shoes, got listen, her hair done. Hey, I'm paying for listen, all that. Between you and me, I don't care. But what? None of that. None of that trash talk in front of your son, and none of that. And you what know, is, no smoking in front of your son. That's one of the rules. All right, all right. That's the all way right, it is. All right, it's just all right. the way it is. Hey, hey, there he is. Good to see you. How man. you doing, man? It's good to see you. It's good to see you, Dad. How's school? Good. So what's happening? Anything exciting? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's, it's okay. But Dad, I made the soccer team. You what? 
Um, Congratulations. Right. Give me some, man. Well done. That's well, all right. That's great. So when do you start practice? I don't know, but I need the money for the gear. You need what? Your mom should have money for the gear. All that woman do is shop all day long. Wait. She can't get you. Wait. Stop it. What you're you? not you No. No. What are you doing? Hey, I thought you finished that. You it's know you're not allowed to drink dream. in front of your son. You just hit the trifecta. Trash talking, cigarettes, drinking. It's over. This is over. Whoa, 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 whoa. What do you mean it's yeah, over? I mean it's you... over. I love you, man, but this is not about you. It's about him. All right, all right, so, all right. I love you, man. I'll see you soon, all right? All right. I'm sorry about that. You know, we all know the rules. We got to do it. So um, how about you and I go out and get some ice cream, see if we can find a ball game somewhere? All right. This time, the supervisor is proactive and has control of the situation. He called Dad on the trash talking before it really began, stopped the drinking and the smoking, and he ended the visit. He also took action to salvage a bad situation by offering to take the boy out for some ice cream and a baseball game. Some parents have a hard time showing up for visits with any regularity. When this becomes a habit, it's frustrating for the custodial parent and can have a huge negative effect on the child's self-esteem, especially if the child feels responsible for the split, which is often the case. This child's mom is so busy with her job, she often misses her scheduled visits. Even her sister, the designated supervisor, can't always make them happen. Boy, Joe, I, I don't know where your mom is, and, and I don't know what to do. I've made all these phone calls. I'm going to try Aunt Lori one more time. Hang on. Lori. Todd, Todd, hi. This is Todd. Where are you? Oh, did you get my message? I called three hours ago. We're not going to be able to make it today. I didn't get that message. I don't know how you called. Oh, you know what? Oh, my gosh. I'm looking at this. I called the wrong number. I'm so sorry. You called the wrong number? All right, well, I have an appointment, and I have to be there. I'm going to have to take Joe with me. I'm sorry. Oh, Joe, I'm sorry. Look, I'm going to talk to Mary. We're going to make sure that she, she comes on the schedule. Well, she does this all the time. I know. It's frustrating. But how long is the schedule for Sunday? Sunday? Yeah, Sunday. I don't know if I can make it. Yeah, I, you call me on Sunday, and we'll figure something out. Okay? Goodbye. Joe, your mom's not going to be able to make it today. So I'm going to have to take you with me with, to my appointment. And then uh, after that, we'll go to the park, OK? All right, get your stuff. Let's go. Sometimes the best intentions just don't work out the way we planned. Since her sister is ineffective in her efforts to convince the mother to show up for the scheduled visits, the best option may be to have the court appoint a new supervisor or end the visits completely. The custodial parent can often be anxious about leaving the child. The child can be upset too at having that parent leave even if the supervisor is a loving family member. That's the situation in this clip. Dad is a non-custodial parent. He's at his mother's house. She's the designated supervisor and they're waiting for his ex and their son to arrive. I wonder what's taking them so long. I have no clue. I just hope we don't have the drama like we do all, every week. Well, maybe it won't be so bad this time. I hope not. Oh, here they are. Hi. Hi, baby. Grandma, come to get the baby. Yes, she oh, is. Yeah. Oh, well, come on. She doesn't want to go. She doesn't have well, to go. Well, that's we you have to buy. You have to abide by the visitations, mm -hmm. and so it's just the best. Why don't you? Well, we wouldn't have please. visitations if his, her dad would act like yeah. he had some sense. Well, if you're intense, you're gonna have her intense. Well, She's gonna be with to her the window family. To make her feel sisters, better. She's fine. You her little go. cousins and grandma misses Bye, her. Bye, Tanaya. Bye, baby. <laughs> you'll be all right, baby. It's okay. Yeah, you'll be fine. Even though the beginning of the visit may be stressful, children are resilient. They generally calm down and can have a good visit if everyone stays positive. This supervisor reminds a nervous mother that the child can pick up on her stress, and that just makes things worse. But she also assures her that the child will be fine. We've given you a lot of information, so let's take some time to recap some important points. 
To the supervisors, remember your role in the child's visitation is an important one. The parents have entrusted you with the care of their child. Your main goal is to comply with all the directives in the court order by providing a safe, positive experience for the child. Being physically present and aware of what's going on at all times and helping create or restore a safe, positive relationship between the child and the non-custodial parent. To the parents, you're also responsible for creating a positive and relaxed environment for the child's supervised visits. The setting for the exchange and the visit must be no conflict zones. You should never exhibit your anger in front of the child. Be responsible. Be on time for the visit. If you know you're going to be late or can't make it, let the other parent know well ahead of time. If you're the non-custodial parent, interact with your child. Be on your best behavior during the visit. Remember, it's about you and your child having a good experience. You're taking on an important and worthwhile responsibility. As a supervisor, you have the authority as well as the obligation to make the visits positive and keep the best interests of the children in mind. The visits don't have to be stressful. They can become opportunities to restore the relationship between the non-custodial parent and the child so that in the future, the court may lift the requirement of supervised visitation.